Hey guys, Pat here with Core Electronics, and today I'm going to introduce you to Mateblocks. Now, Mateblocks was a company founded in 2011 in Shenzhen, China. It's a hardware-based company that introduces uh, robotics and programming to the educator and making it as accessible as possible to the educator and as easy as possible to get started for the student. Now, in front of me here, I have three of the products from Mateblocks. We have the Mbot kit here. We have the Mbot Ranger and the Ultimate Kit 2.0. So one of the ways that Mateblock makes it so easy for the educator and the student um, and makes it so accessible to start programming with these robotic kits is through their Mblock um, integrated development environment. Now this in integrated development environment is built around the Scratch platform, which is basically a graphical interface um, that allows you to basically drag and drop different functions for the programming into a, an easy to use platform, making it really easy to follow the logical flow of the program that you're trying to develop. Now, as well as this Scratch platform, Mateblock also supports the Arduino IDE. So each of these robotic kits have a different Arduino chip inside of them, um, which is why we're able to support the Arduino IDE editing platform. Um, making it really easy for educators and students to use and get started if they have any experience at all with Arduino, as well as being a really good introduction to Arduino so that we can extend, expand upon all of our knowledge that we find from um, the Mateblock series and ex expand that into different projects with Arduino. Now let's take a quick look at the Mblock IDE on the computer. So here we are in the Mblock IDE development environment. Um, now, the first thing we want to do to start a new project is underneath scripts, we want to select the Robox category, which is the um, greenish blue category here. Next, we want to just drag across the Mbot program. Um, and this just basically initializes the um, program to say that we want to write a program um, on the Arduino. Um, and as an example, next thing we can do is we can add in a repeat function, just drag and drop that right in here. Um, and basically what this does is anything inside this repeat bracket um, will repeat 10 times. Um, we can actually change this number, so we'll change that to a 5. Um, and now we can go back to the Robotics tab, um, and we have all the functionality that the robot will have. Um, for instance, the Mbot with its RGB LED on top. We can select the Set LED um, function. We can choose the port, um, so that basically says what port the um, the LED is on, um, and then we can select the RGB values, so um, from 0 to 255, um, any number in between there. Um, and now let's just make a quick blink program because um, it's nice and simple. Um, so then we'll just go back to control in the scripts tab um, and add this um, wait function in here. So that basically tells the Arduino IDE to um, program in a um, delay. Um, so we'll go back to the LED um, in under the robotics tab, um, chuck in the LED port there, uh, back to control, add another wait for a second. Um, we'll set this to red. So once we've got the program written in the Mblocks IDE, um, we can simply click the upload to Arduino um, button up here, which basically uploads the script that it's um, compiled from your Scratch program and uploads it to the board on the robot. So that was a quick look at the Mblock IDE. Now let's take a look at a few of the kits available from Mateblock. So first up, we have the Mbot. It's available in both Bluetooth, and it's also available with a 2.4 gigahertz serial connection. Um, on the front here, you can see the two eye-looking things are actually transceiver modules. So that can actually sense the distance between the robot and a wall, say, or another object. Uh, down the bottom um, of the robot, it's got a, a line following sensor, so we can actually implement a line following program that will follow a black line uh, on a white background. Um, and then we can actually go as far as conjoining those two functionalities together um, so that it, we have a line following robot that will actually sense an object in front of it and stop if there is an object in front of it. So next up in the middle here, we have the Mbot Ranger. Now the Ranger shares a lot of functionality with the Mbot, including its transceiver module at the front, uh, its line following um, module, and a lot of RGB LEDs. Now the Ranger adds actually an RGB LED ring uh, in the center. 
Um, and we also have a configurable design now. So we're actually able to take apart the Ranger and configure it into different um, projects and different designs. And it really encourages creativity with the students. Now, the final kit we have here today is the Ultimate 2.0. The Ultimate 2.0 is a massive expansion on the Mbot Ranger and the Mbot, including all of the modules and LEDs that come with the Mbot and the Mbot Ranger, as well as adding additional modules, including a gyroscope and accelerometer, and a few more. Now, the Mbot Ranger also includes a Raspberry Pi compatible uh, microcontroller, so we can actually interface with both Arduino and Raspberry Pi on the Ultimate kit. The Ultimate Kit adds more mechanical parts, so it's a lot more configurable than both the Mbot Ranger and the Mbot, as well as adding more projects to the list possible um, with MakeBlock. So today we've seen who MakeBlock is and how they're trying to revolutionize education in robotics. And in the following videos, I'll be doing an in-depth overview of each of these individual robotic kits. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching.